people, after many years of yearning to leave Egypt, they've been, they've been waiting, the ten plagues had happened, 210 years of slavery in Egypt, and then Pharaoh said, you can go. And then it was this mad rush of trying to gather everything from the Egyptians' houses. They had to rush into the houses, knock on the doors. They wanted to gather up the gold and silver. That's what God had told them to do. So they went to the houses, they, they'd taken out the gold and silver, gathering everything up. Think about how long it takes you to get ready to leave for school in the morning. Think about them leaving 200 years, 210 years of slavery, gathering everything up to leave to go to a new place. The Jewish people were rushing like crazy, trying to get everything together, making sure they had all the gold and silver that they needed as well. They didn't even have time to let the bread rise on their backs. And Moshe, what was he doing at that time? He remembered that a promise had been made to Joseph to collect his bones when the Jewish people would eventually leave Egypt. So he made sure he was searching around and he eventually found where Joseph was buried because he wanted to keep that promise. Contrast that with the Jewish people who were looking everywhere trying to make sure that they had all their items and their possessions and all these things ready for them. And Moshe, who was searching for the bones trying to make sure that he had done the promise and fulfilled his promise for Joseph. What we see from here is that when a person is under pressure, their true colours really show through. It's true. The Jewish people were fulfilling a mitzvah commanded to them by God to collect the gold and silver. But Moshe chose to focus on the commandment of putting someone else's needs first. This is eerily similar to something that feels like it happened a thousand years ago, but actually only happened right at the beginning of the pandemic. Let's rewind back to March. At a time when everyone was panicking, we knew a lockdown was imminent. We were so, so stressed and so under pressure. And people, people ran to the shops and queued up for hours and took all the toilet paper off the shelves and all the soaps and all the everything and made sure they had all the pasta to last them for six months because who knew how long this was going to last. Now obviously you have to look after yourself. But Gift also experienced another group of people at that time, exactly at the same time. They were also standing in the queues, they were also taking items off shelves, they were also having a long shopping list and stockpiling. But the difference was they were shopping for other people. They were buying these items for people that could not leave their houses. When under pressure, your true self comes out. Do I focus on my needs or the needs of others? Be great, be a giver, even when you're under pressure. Shabbat Shalom.